Hello everybody, uh, my name is Azad. Uh, today uh, I'll briefly explain you uh, oil and gas industry and its connection to uh, Azerbaijan and how it's uh, worked together from the very beginning. So first thing I want to ask you, uh, what do you know about oil and gas industry? Any, any, anything that you think it's about, on the shadow of the previous uh, presentation on the uh, greenhouse effect or carbon em emission, uh, you can give any ideas that you have. Um, it's about extraction of crude oil, uh, natural gases. Yes, exactly. Um, exactly. Very, very good points. And uh, what about Azerbaijan? Have you ever heard this word before? Yeah, we what, what, what find the word of that. We know, the, we know the name. It's somewhere like near Turkey. It's right? Yeah, it's good. Asia, good, good, good. Thank you. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, today we'll talk about, mainly I'll give you the briefly the, some information about the both uh, industry itself and the country. And uh, we'll go a little bit into the history and uh, try to understand why uh, we underline these two things together so you will get a better idea what is uh, connecting these two topics and then uh, we'll have a little exercise uh, on the brainstorming we'll have the same kind of teams and uh, you will every team will get a, a one question and you will have one minute to brainstorm your question and uh, you need to give me the answer at the end this is also connected to all the uh, topics uh, I've talked about. So, and uh, we'll at the end briefly uh, touch the current situation in the country and its position in the global uh, economic and energy uh, market. And at the end, we we'll conclude and finish our presentation. So, uh, as I said, our uh, main purpose is to connect these two topics together and uh, give you the idea of uh, the importance of it. This is the country we're talking about, and uh, as you see, uh, it's on the shore of the Caspian Sea. It's the name of Republic of Azerbaijan. Uh, the language is Azeri, it's a Turkic uh, linguistic uh, group of languages. Can you guess a religion? Which is the main religion in this country? Islamic, yeah, correct. Very good, thank you. Very small area, actually, not so big, but uh, comparing, of course, the big ones. Have any guess about population of this country? I completely feel free to guess less. About, about, ten, uh, about something about 10 million. And I will tell you one thing. Uh, countries like Iran, Turkey, and even Russia, uh, 100 years ago, had a population about 10 million. But today it's one of the biggest countries in the top 20. So uh, today small countries may tomorrow <laughs> become a bigger country, I mean in terms of population. So the capital is Baku, it, as you see it's on the shore of the Caspian Sea. Currency is Manat is approximately as Euro. It's a 10 economic regions and about 77 uh, cities in this country. So its neighbors as you see from the map is Turkey, Georgia and the Caspian uh, states. So, modern history, quickly, uh, it's a uh, democratic republic of Azerbaijan, which is founded in 18, uh, year 18. This is the first Islamic uh, democratic republic in the world. So, before that, there were no uh, Islam uh, democratic republic. So, then the Soviet Union, as you know, this was a part of the Soviet Union. And uh, in 91, uh, 30 August, it was proclaimed independent of Soviet Union and become an independent state. And there was a war in uh, Karabakh region, which has uh, resulted in 20% area under occupation. Still. Yeah. Um, this is a really interesting topic, but um, I got a conference call in eight minutes. So I was just wondering, like, the run down, how long will it last? How long? It will take about 10 minutes. I think you can uh, easily wait until the end. It won't, it won't interrupt your conference call. Don't worry about it at okay. all. Okay. So, uh, let me go uh, quickly uh, with the history. Uh, it goes 20 years. Uh, sorry, Patrick, do you have some work to do? Yes, I, I think you, ah, you, you, you need experience. for partners. Oh, uh, what is the name of a partner? 
Patrick. Patrick, oh, I know him. His name is Azad. Okay. I think I'll, I can speak to him uh, if he, uh, if he uh, urge you something. I can tell that you were busy and you cannot answer him. So that's fine if you send him an email. I'll talk to him. Don't worry. Okay. So uh, we'll go quickly about, the, as you know, the oil and energy industry is quite big and huge uh, today. And uh, um, in the last hundred years, we took a lot of distance in this. But uh, when we go to the very, very beginning of this, uh, and the first steps in the oil and gas industry were actually taken in the two main regions. It is the Transcaucasian region where Azerbaijan is located and the USA. So today we will mainly focus on the USA part of it. So uh, I think you will see how deep is the route. Uh, so you see that um, about 200 years ago, first uh, drilled, first uh, extraction took place in the close to Baku regions. So um, also in 1846, you see the first drilled oil, first uh, industrial production of oil took place in this country. So uh, it is 150 years ago. You, you can see how uh, early it was. And this is the first time in the world that industrial methods were used for the oil production. This is a very important step in the humanity because all that we have uh, uh, all that we have today is due to the energy, energy resources that we and this is a, the, here is the point where everything was started and um, you see the, one of the first pipelines also uh, took place and uh, uh, in between Black, uh, Caspian Sea and uh, Black Sea between Batum and Baku and the one surprising thing that in, in the beginning of the 20th century Azerbaijan was the first oil producer in the world so it was produced about 11.5 uh, million tons a year. Uh, for comparison, can you guess who was the second by that time? I thought at the very beginning that two main regions where this oil industry started to rise. This is uh, US, yeah. For that time, US uh, uh, were making 9.5 million ton a year. So the biggest uh, oil companies, big oil giants that you know today, are actually old made business in, uh, in Azerbaijan. You see the names Chevron, BP, British Petroleum, Exxon. And also uh, one of the first offshore, uh, offshore oil production uh, was uh, done, uh, firstly done in Azerbaijan. And uh, one very important point here is that uh, during the Second World War, uh, you know, the uh, Soviet Union was uh, against uh, Nazi, Nazi, Nazi regimes. So uh, all the, mainly 75 to 80 percent of uh, petroleum oil resources were coming from Baku. And this played a very important role in defeating this Nazi regime during the Second World War. So this is a small graph just to show you uh, the 100 years movement of the p uh, petroleum uh, uh, oil production uh, that took place in Azerbaijan uh, during the hundred years. As you see, after the collapse of, after the 2000, the huge increases is related to uh, current development in our country and uh, current new consumption uh, production sharing agreements uh, and all that uh, international organizations making a business and increasing in the of a business in Azerbaijan. So let's have a quickly br break. So uh, team A and team B. I want you uh, to, I actually can read a question for you, and I want you to, for one minute, discuss between yourself, brainstorm the issue, and uh, give me the answer of, of the questions. So, the award is known as internationally most prestigious award in the world. It was established the following days of the famous European inventor and businessman by the execution of his will. His wealth was about 35 Sweden crowns. So, and earning from invention of dynamite, and his holding of stock of Brothers Petroleum Company in Baku, Azerbaijan. Please give me the name of the award. You have one minute to go. Start it.
You? Great, great answer. Right, correctly, exactly. Uh, the Noble Brothers Petroleum Company. The first Nobel Award was given in uh, uh, 1901, and the mainly it was comprised of two capital resources. First is the dynamite uh, yeah, income, yeah. and the second part is the 12% share of this company. So uh, let's go to the Team B. Let's have your question. More than 100 years ago, the businessman was walking along the shore of the Caspian Sea in a Baku capital and was thinking about the company he was going to establish. Where the commercial prospects were quite clear, the name of this empire seemed to be a major stumbling rock. So, uh, deep and solid, they pick up something from the sand on the shore and uh, started tossing it into the air. Suddenly, he finds the name of his company. What was, what was the name of this company? You have time. Go on. You can start discussing it. <laughs> you should brainstorm it. Otherwise, you'll not be able to find it. Any ideas, just push it uh, into the team so see the reaction. Talk, talk, guys. You should... Huh? Great. Great answer. <laughs> so, exactly. Uh, also, it's an interesting historical fact that a uh, guy was just collecting the shells from the uh, shore of the Caspian Sea and he started to uh, sell his first business was to shell the shells from Caspian Shore to London. I don't know what they did with the shells, but <laughs> they used them somewhere. somewhere. So let's briefly go through. Um, I think uh, the, thing, uh, the important thing here is that you, uh, you may not have an idea of what is happening. You may not even hear about uh, the Azerbaijan or oil industry. But this is a good thing just to, when you do the brainstorming, you give an idea and you can find out the answer together. So this is just one point. Nowadays, what do you think this overall share of Azerbaijan oil production in the world today? Just guess it. Any smart guess is acceptable, no problem, don't worry about it. It's not an exam or quiz or something. 1%? No, only 1%. It is so small because of this so big. Any ideas of biggest oil product producers, oil and gas producers today? Which country do you think are the, the biggest one? Russia? The biggest one actually, a good answer, Russia is uh, one of the biggest, but the biggest of course is Saudi Arabia and all these Arabic states Russia around. Russia the biggest in, in terms of natural gas? Uh, in terms of reserves, yeah. uh, gas reserves, the biggest. But in terms of uh, reserves of oil, the, of course Saudi Arabia and Russia I think it's third. Iran, Saudi Arabia and uh, Arabic states around Africa. It's a big, of course, USA, one of the biggest reserve holders, but USA do not use its reserves in a full capacity as other countries do. So when, other will, uh, when the oil will finish in the world, USA will have some to sell, so just for information. So in 1995, we have some uh, uh, contract of the century, so you saw the huge increase in the, after 2000 in oil production, so this is related to this a uh, very big contract with all the uh, famous companies in the world. So they came to Azerbaijan, invest, and start to uh, increase their oil production. And this is a number of companies that you may know or be aware of. So the main, the biggest one, who are. Of course, the major one is the British Petroleum, for now. Baku Tbilisi Jehan, one of the important port uh, pipeline which connects uh, Mediterranean and Caspian Sea and uh, provide the oil and gas uh, resources to the Europe mainly, Europe and USA and the African market also. In recently there was a huge, huge, big uh, gas field discovery in last year in Azerbaijan which uh, turned the point, I will give you an example, a very easy example. Five years ago we were buying some gas from Russia because we didn't have enough. Now we are selling it to Russia. So this has uh, changed our strategic position in the region as well. And also Nabucco project, one of the gas pipeline which uh, is uh, aimed to uh, uh, sell the gas to Europe, but this is on the, on the project line maybe in the future. It will be. So uh, to conclude everything, it's uh, the what major oil produ producer in the world once upon a time. 
and uh, the biggest opportunity for these big companies which you know today uh, it was uh, in Azerbaijan once upon a day also and uh, sort of the world's most important know-how uh, the people uh, who were engaged in some uh, projects in Azerbaijan then went to Siberia, Africa and all other regions just uh, to make their work and increase their re uh, production of oil so we can uh, find it as it is today so thank you very much for your attention I hope you enjoyed it Okay, thank you very much. Okay.